Hey, what's happening, buddy? Nothing, just reading a comic before we start the show. What you reading? Uh, I'm reading all new X Men issue number one thirty four, the first appearance of Hit Omega. Pretty cool. Yeah, but this book is almost all advertisements. Um, I found one page that has no advertisement. You want to come see it? Sure. What's going on, Hero Squad? Welcome back to Hero and the Kid. I'm Will. And I'm Sean. And welcome to this week's Top 20 List. I want to thank you for stopping by and watching this video. It means a lot to me and my dad here at Hero and the Kid. And we want to thank you. Each week we take a look at what's going on with Go Collect, And then we compare the prices to eBay and bring those prices to you. Now if you don't like graded comics, don't worry. Because we also go over the raw prices as well. So please subscribe to Hero and the Kid. Give this video a like and turn on the notifications so you don't miss any of our upcoming content. And with that being said, let's get into this week's Top 20. Alright Hero Squad, so coming in at number 20, we have Thor number 5. Over this past week, we've seen sales go from $100 all the way up to $125. And looking at the recent sales on eBay, October 4th, one sold at a 9.8 for $135. And then on October 6th, one sold for $125. This is the first full appearance of the Black Winter, and raw comic sales for this book averaged $40. Coming in at number 19, we have Batman Shadow of the Bat, issue number 1. 9.8s for this book have been relatively sticking around $80, but we did see two little spikes in this book. We saw one sell on October 3rd for $110, and then we saw another one sell for $95 on October 4th. And the most recent sale at a 9.8 sold for $75 on October 7th. This is the first appearance of Victor Zaz, who is a serial killer who carves a tally mark in his skin for every victim he claims. This is the first appearance of Jeremiah Arkham, who later becomes a second Black Mask. And a lot of people are specking on this book because it was announced that Alex Morph has been cast as Victor Zaz in Batwoman. Raw comic sales for this book average four dollars. Next up at number 18 we have Black Panther issue number one. 9.8 for this book has a fair market value of $950 and over this past week on September 29th we saw one sell for $1,050. This is the first ongoing Black Panther solo title and this is the first team appearance of the collectors Abner Little and Princess Zamba. And raw comic sales have been averaging about $46 for this book. All right, everyone, coming in at number 17, we have Eternals number one. Fair market value for this book goes for about $1,300. And over this past week from Heritage, we saw a sale of $1,150. And back on the 27th, we saw a sale on eBay for $1,400. This book is the first partial team appearance and origin of the Eternals and the Deviants. And raw comic sales have been averaging about $56 for this book. Next up on the list at number 16, we have Venom Lethal Protector, issue number one. A 9.8 has a fair market value of $80. And over this past week, this book's kind of been on a little bit of a roller coaster ride. Back at the beginning of October, on the 3rd, we saw one sell for $114. Then we saw one sell for $96. Then we saw one sell for $115. Then we saw one sell for $80. But most recently, October 6th, a 9.8 sold on eBay for $65. This book is going all over the place. It's either high for a day or two, and then it's back to low again. Man, I wonder what's going on with this book. If this is one of those books that's been on the list for quite a while. Uh, a lot of people are still buying this pretty much every day. Yeah, because this book is the first solo title series featuring Venom. And raw comic sales average about $21 for this book. All right, everyone, so at number 15, we have Star Wars number one. 9.8 has a fair market value of $1,850. And on September 28th, one sold from Heritage for $1,800. Like we said before, if you act now, you can get this autographed for $75,000 on eBay. And 98 people are watching this auction go right now. If you're going to buy that for that much... <laughs> I, I just gotta say, you're crazy, right? And if you're asking yourself, why is this thing $75,000? It has three autographs by, one by Carrie Fisher, one by Mark Hamill, and the other one by David Prowse, who played Will. 
Darth Vader. He was the guy in the suit, right? That's correct. He didn't actually talk, right? <laughs> Not until the very end, but you don't know because you've never seen the movie. <laughs> well, I think it's kind of crazy that they got the Joker to sign this book. <sighs> this book has a lot of first appearances. A lot of you probably know what they are, but I'm going to tell you anyway. First appearance of Darth Vader, Luke Skywalker, Princess Leia, C-3PO, and R2-D2. First team appearance of the Stormtroopers. This has the first cover appearance of Obi-Wan Kenobi and Han Solo. And this book has been having raw average sales of $92. Next up on the list, at number 14, we have Amazing Spider-Man number 252. The 9.8 brings in a fair market value of $825, and we saw it back on September 28th. One sell for $850, and another one sell for $840. So right around that price. And as you all may know, well, you might not know, this is the first appearance of Spider-Man's black costume. And the raw comic sales average $75. Coming in at 10 plus 3, that's 13, we have Spider-Woman number 1. A 9.8 fair market value has $270. And looking back over the past week, we saw sales for as low as $225 and as high as $280. But back on October 5th, we saw one sell on eBay for $560. This had a little bit of a bidding war with bringing out 34 bids and doubling the price of the last book that we saw, $280. This book is on fire right now, I guess. Seeing that it doubled in price, it's crazy to see how much it went for just the other day. Because this book is, of course, the new costume and origin of Spider-Woman Jessica Drew. And just as a funny little side note, that same day, a 9.8 sold for $250. So these people obviously got into a bidding war over this yeah. one. And raw comic sales average only $17 for this book. And a 9.8 sold for $560. That's right. It's on fire right now with all the speculation behind the MCU. We'll just see what happens with this book next. Coming in at number 12, we have Amazing Spider-Man issue number 101. This has a fair market value of $13,000 on a 9.8. And the last sale that we could find at a 9.8 was back in May for just over $9,200. And the highest recent sale that we could see graded was a 9.4 back on September 1st, and that went for $2,500. This book is the first appearance of the living vampire himself, Morbius. I think once people start talking about Morbius more often, the trailers start coming back out, this movie starts getting a little bit more hype when it's ready to come out, I think you're going to see a lot more sales. But at a 9.8, I'm not too sure about that. But a lot of lower grades, I can really see this book heating up. And definitely more raw comics right. selling. Next up on the list, at number 11, we have Spawn number 1. This has a fair market value of $140, and over this past week, we saw prices kind of hover around that $120 mark, but not anymore. October 6th, we saw one sale at a 9.8 for $200. This book is definitely going up in price since McFarlane is saying that there's going to be a new Spawn movie and a new TV show coming out pretty soon, right. or when quarantine is over. But this book is the first appearance of Spawn, Sam and Twitch, Malbogia, and guess what? This has a pinup of Pit. And raw comics tend to average about $20 for this book, but on October 6th as well, one sold for $40. Coming in at number 10, we have X-Men. Dad, yeah, do you know how to say 266 in Spanish? Because I've been taking Spanish class. I'm getting pretty good at Spanish, so do you know how to say 266 in Spanish? You bet I do. 266 in Spanish. It's actually 266. You bet it is. <sighs> Over this past week, we've been seeing sales on eBay kind of around $475. But on October 5th, we saw one sell at a 9.8 from Heritage for $588. This book is, of course, the second appearance of Gambit and the first cover appearance of Gambit. And Dad, how much are Rock Comics selling for? Raw comic sales have been going for $107, and over this past week on the 7th, we saw one sell for $61. Definitely a drop in price right there. We are inside the top 10 now. At number 9, we have Something is Killing the Children, issue number 1. This is a book that we've been talking quite a bit about on The Variant Show. Prices have been heating up, going on fire for this book. A lot of speculation with Boom signing with Netflix if this is going to become a TV show. 
Yeah, I'd love to see this become a TV show. It's one of our favorite series out right now. And I think it would be a really fun show to watch. Over this past month, the highest sale that we could find was $305. And a lot of the prices averaging around that $280 mark. But on October 6th, we saw one sell for $310. Raw comic sales for this book averaged $116. But on October 4th, this book saw a high of $130 raw. And like we said before, this is a book that you definitely want to get your hands on. There's a lot of variants for this series as well that are really going up in price and definitely be on the lookout for them. Yeah, there's a lot of reprints for this book and all of those are still going for like higher than $15. Right. So definitely keep your eye out for them even if it's like the third or fourth print because they are still worth some money. Coming in at number eight, she's lean, she's mean, and she's a fighting machine. Hey, we have set. You stole my line. What are you doing? We have Savage She-Hulk, issue number one. The fair market value for this book at a 9.8 goes for about $550, but sales have been spiking. Back in September, we saw high sales of just over $700, and right now, on Go Collect, we see prices of $640, $650. And on eBay on October 4th, there are three sales for around that $650 mark. This book is the first appearance and origin of the cousin of Bruce Banner, She-Hulk. And raw comic sales average about $110 for this book. Coming in at number 7, we have Venom, number 3. A fair market value at a 9.8 averages $325 for this book. But on October 4th, we saw one sell for $282. But from that point on, prices started to go up and then back down again. We saw it hit $380 on that same day, as well as $360. But then, you know, from that point, it started going down even more. And we saw it hit $320 on October 5th. And the reason this book is so hot, why it's so on fire, is because it's the first appearance of Null, who is the god of the symbiotes, who is the who has all the fire around him, who has all the hype around him right now. You're right. Sales have definitely been active on eBay at the moment. They've been on a roller coaster ride, but people are still going after this book. Raw comic sales for this book average $100. Coming in at number six, we have Strange Academy, number one. This has a fair market value of $170 out of 9.8. And back on October 2nd, we saw one sell for $250. Then on October 4th, we saw one drop down to about $150. And it's kind of working its way back up because on October 6th, we saw one sell for $190. This is another book that we talked about on our variant show that has a lot of potential around it. A lot of variants of this book are really spiking in price. And Will, you want to tell them why? Because this book is the first appearance of Emily Bright, Doyle Dermamu, and Shaylee Monpetal. This is also its first appearance of Zoe Lavu, Calvin Morse, and Desi. Scotty Young and Marvel definitely have a hit on their hands, and they have a lot of potential around this book, and it's going to be interesting to see what happens with this. Raw comic sales for this book average $50. Coming in at number 5, we have Secret Wars number 8. A 9.8 has a fair market value of $375, and I think last week on the show, we talked about this selling for about $450, but over this past week, we saw one sell with a pretty active bidding war on this one of 43 bids, and this one sold for $460. This book is, of course, the origin of the black symbiote costume that becomes Venom, and it's the second appearance of Spider-Woman, Julia Carpenter. <laughs> scary and just to give you all a heads up we have four more to go we're trying to power through this right now it's thundering and lightning the lights have been flicking a little bit we're trying to get this done and hopefully everything's safe with the recording before the power goes out it's halloween season the lights are flickering maybe we're haunted coming in at number four we have omega men issue number three a 9.8 has fair market value of $190. And over this past week, we've seen a lot of sales right around that $225 mark. And on eBay, October 4th, one sold for $236. This is the first appearance of Lobo. Took my line. <laughs> and there's some speculation that he might be showing up on HBO Max. Coming in at number three, we have Fallout Boy issue number four. Fallout Boy? Yeah. Don't you mean Ultimate Fallout number four? Oh yeah, I got them confused. 
Fall Out Boy from Ultimate Fitness. You know, Don't even get me started with Fall Out Boy. We were supposed to see them open up for Green Day this year. And along the with thing, Weezer. Along with Weezer. The whole COVID thing. We were supposed to see them at Fenway Park, Under the Stars. And you know what's great about that? That was my Christmas present last year. <laughs> and we didn't even get to see them. The fair market value for this is about $1,050. And we've seen that stay true. Over this past week, we've seen a lot of sales for around $1,000, saw it go as high as $1,100, and then on October 5th, we saw one sell for $950. This book is the first appearance of Miles Morales in Reed Richards Becomes the Maker. The raw comic sales averaged $350, and now you got me thinking about the concert. The last time we saw a concert at Fenway Park, we saw the Foo Fighters, and that was an awesome concert. It was so cool. It rained out. It was the middle of summer. It was just awesome time. It was when Dave Grohl had his broken leg. Yeah, the broken leg tour, and you had that big chair that moved him around. I'm oh. so bummed out with this year. You know, we were supposed to see this massive concert. Then we we're supposed to see Joe Rogan. Now we're not going to be able to see any of that. We're not going to be able to see any stand up live. Oh. This year stinks. We've lost so many great people. We've lost Black Panther. Recently, we've lost Eddie Van Halen. Oh, rest in peace, Eddie, wherever you are. And your guitar, oh, Frankenstein. My ch one of my childhood greats. Like you said, we're supposed to see all these stand-up comics and see all these concerts, but nope. The world is doing stuff to us. <laughs> Coming in at number two, we have Amazing Spider-Man, number 300. Fair market value for this book goes for about $2,900. But man, ever since like September 8th, we've been seeing prices crank on this book. Starting with September 28th, we saw it sell for $5,500. October 3rd, we saw one sell for $4,900. October 3rd, $5,200. October 4th, $4,000. October 3rd, we saw one sell for $5,200. And then on October 4th, we saw one sell for $4,000. People are definitely paying out a lot of money for this book. It's selling quite often, and it shows why it's at the top of the list. All right. Now, I got to have a mind-to-mind -mind conversation with our Spider-Man 300 to see if he's worthy of being a 9.8. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> nope. He said 3.5 at best. All right. <clears throat> This book is the first full appearance of Venom. This has raw average sales of $756, but on October 6th, we saw one sell for $1,600. The last book on the list today at number one, we have Amazing Spider-Man number 361. This has a fair market value of $575, and for the most part, we've been seeing sales hover around that price over the last week, but we did see a couple of prices that really stood out. Back on October 3rd, we saw one sell for $675 on a 9.8. And then on October 4th, we saw one sell for $685. This book is the first full appearance of Carnage. And raw comic sales for this book averaged $190. There you have it, Hero Squad. This week's top 20 how to sell graded comics. We love doing this list and bringing you all the facts of what's going on in today's market. We really hope this helps you out when you're out there trying to sell your books, trying to buy your books. So we hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to Hero and the Kid, give this video a like, and turn on the notifications so you don't miss any of our upcoming content. And make sure you check out our Patreon in the description below. Here at Hero and the Kid, we have a lot of big plans ahead, so make sure to stay tuned for Hero and the Kid. Because I'm Wildebeest, this is my dad Sean, and we're out.